Hello, I would like to draw an elephant today. Got my paper here. Um, I like to draw elephants straight up and down. You could also twist it, you know, this way because elephants are both kind of tall. Get this out of here. They're both kind of tall and they're both kind of horizontal. So you can't really go wrong one way or the other. But let's get to it. All right, so I think it's really easy to overdraw an elephant. So what I mean is it's really easy to do too much. Just keep it simple here, ready? I always start with a tusk. And I just kind of make it like that. There's a banana shape thing. That's gonna be my tusk. And then the next most important part is the head going down into the nose. Now, I don't finish it. I'm not coming back up yet. I'll tell you why in just a second. Um, next, I'll put it in the other tusk. Another banana right there. This is really simple so far, right? From here, I like to draw another, uh, I like to draw an ear. So once again, you can get really complicated with this, but you know, just a simple thing like that and put it on the other side too. There we go. We got our elephant's head, ear, and we'll, we'll come back to that really important trunk in just a second. Um, now, I like to go back here and start talking about my elephant's body. So this is gonna be my elephant's body here. And I'll put one of my elephant's legs in here. Going back, I'll put my other elephant's leg in here. And I got two out of the four. At this point, I'm gonna go back here and finish the trunk. The trunk goes all the way down to the ground. I think if you don't draw it all the way down to the ground, you kind of miss an opportunity. Uh, elephants have, you know, have that really long trunk, and if you just draw it here and then go back and do the legs, well, there's a chance you didn't quite make that leg or that trunk long enough. It's just going to look kind of weird. Um, all right, so there's my elephant. I think I'll round off his tusk here, and now I'm going to just kind of come off of here and put in another leg, and then over here behind my other leg, I'll sneak another one in. And one last part of the body that's really important is the tail. Just kind of come down off the back end, get a little hair there, and you've got yourself an elephant. Uh, now there's a couple details we can add. Um, elephants tend to have kind of like teeny eyes, something like this, you know, really tiny, and they've got really wrinkled skin, so you can you can put stuff around it like that, and and that that's a pretty good way to make an elephant eye. You know, elephants are are not known for their awesomely cool eyes. Um, you can make it big and cartoony, like you lose a lot of expression if you just leave it like that. But whatever, that's that's part of the elephant's character, so we can leave it like that. Another thing that's really a uh, big part of the elephant's character is its toes. So I'm going to draw a couple like rainbow shapes down here. They have very uh, distinct toes. So I'm going to make all my toes kind of face in the same direction with those rainbows. Another thing that's really interesting about elephants is that their knees all bend the same way. They're one of the only animals with four legs that have knees that all go the same direction. So I'm just gonna indicate that by drawing a couple of wrinkles in here and just say, there, those are my elephant's knee wrinkles. <laughs> elephants are really wrinkly, so um, just adding a couple lines here and there can help kind of create that wrinkled look. Um, I like to put a couple of wrinkles on the nose and the, on the trunk, that helps out a little bit. But really, it doesn't take too much. So like I said, keep it simple. And you make a pretty good elephant if you do it that way. Uh, elephants live in you know, Asia and Africa. They tend to live places where it's really hot and sunny. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, some uh, some shadow in here to indicate that there's you know a lot of sun in this elephant's world. And that'll also help kind of keep the elephant grounded. A little bit of a little bit of grass back here, just to let you know he's on the on the grasslands eating some grass or something. That's pretty much it. That's it for an elephant. Thanks very much. See you later.